What is good, YouTube? It's Sir Lancelot back here for a new video. And today, we're doing a nature walk and talk, man. And first off, man, I know it's been a very long time since I last uploaded. It's probably been maybe two months. You know, I upload shorts here and there, but that's not really content. That's just, you know, that's the equivalent of posting a TikTok video. But, however, anyways, I'm going to get back to posting semi-regularly. I just had to get right with God, get my mental in order. Because I don't want to do anything like YouTube if I'm not right in the head, you know? If I'm not right in the head, I'm not going to do it because I won't be my best self. But I think I'm about there now. So without further ado, man, let me just tell y'all what we're going to be doing today. Today, I'm in South Mountain, North Carolina. All right. In Connolly Springs, North Carolina. And I'm just doing a solo nature walk and talk with you guys. So the reason why I decided to make this video was because I was at church yesterday and at church, our pastor was telling us about why we should go out in nature, explore nature, you know, often, you know, basket everything in because this is what it's all about. And I was like, man, you know, he has a great point because without this, there wouldn't be anything. We have to appreciate the nature we have to appreciate the trees the mountains the water everything because this is where it all started this is god's creation you know the strip club isn't god's creation gamestop isn't god's creation the movie theater isn't god's creation even your house isn't god's creation this is what god put out for us not that no no not that <laughs> but you know all this the trees the trail everything God put this out for us to take advantage of. And, you know, in recent times, we just pretty much neglected that. We took that and neglected that. So I want to kind of turn that around for y'all. Show y'all that this is what it's all about. But what I'm doing now is I'm looking for a spot, preferably by the creek where the water is pouring, and just, you know, put a towel down and just, you know, do a little talk with y'all. Do a little talk. No, but I'm going to go ahead and find a spot and I'm going to be back once I do. All right, fellas, so I found me a little spot. It's not the most convenient spot because the land isn't very flat, but it is by the waterfall. I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but I'm just right over there, man, but you know, like I was saying, man, our pastor was teaching us about the importance of coming out in nature. And I always loved nature, I always appreciated nature, but when he told me that, it kind of put everything in perspective, you know? Because I feel like I do take nature for granted. I'm always on the video games, you know, always spending more time on the things that are artificial, the things that are fake, rather than the things that are real, like this, you know? Like, this is beautiful. This has been here for, you know, thousands, maybe millions of years. This has been here since the beginning of time. So we need to come out here and appreciate those things rather than the artificial things. But I did say I was just going to ramble. But first off, I just want to know how did y'all guys' day go? How did y'all's day go? Let me know in the comments down below how y'all day went. You know, as y'all can see, I'm trying to open this fruit it's not there it is oh man <laughs> i lost one but but yeah we have to appreciate nature but some things that i had on my chest right i'm sorry this is delicious <laughs> but let me put that down but the thing I had on my chest, guys, is, you know, relationships with, you know, people in your circle, family, friends, whatever the case may be. Sometimes I feel like when you're doing better off in life, you know, people in your circle get kind of, they kind of treat you a little bit differently, you know? They treat you a little bit differently. When you're elevating in your life, they start to treat you better. They start to show you a little bit more respect. 
it's kind of like your respect is based off of what you do for a living or you know your occupation rather than the person that you are inside you see me i don't care about how much money you make what you do for a living i care about your heart i would gladly rather spend my time spend the whole day with somebody who was penniless had no job who had a pure good heart a heart of gold than somebody who was a freaking billionaire who's just evil treats people like crap all day but I'm not exactly sure why other people don't think like that you know when I was down and out you know not too long ago I was really down and out in my life and I got talked to any type of way by people you know I got disrespected you know publicly by people people in my own circle But now, I'm doing pretty good in life. I'm doing quite good in life. And now, all of a sudden, it's different. Those same people who publicly disrespected me come to me with advice. Lance, how did you do it? Lance, how are you so positive? How did you get such a good connection with God? You know, I was always positive. Even when I was down and out, I was always positive. But since I didn't have anything to show for it, nobody cared. But now the results are speaking for itself. Now all of a sudden everybody wants advice, which I'm glad to give because if it's one thing in life, one thing one of my uncles taught me, one of my dad's closest friends, he taught me that even the people who crapped on you, even the people who talked down on you, when they come to you for advice, give them advice because you're doing God's work. Don't do it for them. Don't do it for yourself, but do it because God wants you to do it because we're all here to teach. And another thing I want you guys to know and another thing I want you guys to understand and learn is don't let anybody disrespect you. You see me, I'm going to just use me for example. I'm a very nice person, very kind hearted person. I don't, I rarely get mad. All right, I rarely get mad at anybody. You know, I'm always even tempered. Very controlled, very calm. But, you know, some people, not all people, but some people, they take that kindness for weakness. They see me looking out for others, happy to help anybody. And they see it as, oh, I could disrespect them. And then that switch just get flipped, just like that. And then they're all surprised. They say I got out of character. No. One thing I learned is how to balance being kind and having self-respect. Because if you don't respect yourself, who's going to respect you? You got to give people one chance. You got to give people one chance to disrespect you and then turn it up. You can't give people chances. There is no three strikes. A lot of people say, oh, you get three strikes and you're out. No. The first time somebody shows an ounce of disrespect towards you, you gotta let them have it. Now, I don't mean beat them up, I don't mean fight them, I don't mean hurt them, no. Don't put yourself in a bad situation off of some disrespect. You know, most often than not, it's just words. It's just words. Words can't hurt you. But at the same time, you can't let them keep doing it. You have to stand up for yourself. So just put it down, put it to a stop before it begins. The best thing you could do is to uh, let people know that you don't take disrespect before they do it. So that way you don't even have to worry about you know, humbling them and, you know, standing up for yourself because they won't do it in the first place. You just got to let people know that you won't stand for that. That's something that I had to learn. You know, when I was younger, I got bullied in school. I got bullied in school and I allowed people to do it. That's one of my biggest regrets. I don't regret much, but one of the things I do regret is when I was in middle school, I let people get away with bullying me. Why? Because I didn't want any trouble with anybody. I wanted to be friends with everybody. You know, I kind of took it as, oh, they just playing. But then I learned when I got to high school, you know, it's at my expense. They're playing at my expense. I'm the butt of the joke. See, it'd be different if they was a butt of the joke. But I was a butt of the joke. They was laughing at me. I thought they was laughing with me. I figured, you know, if I just took the punches, if I just rolled with the punches, you know, 
everything will play out smooth, but that didn't work that way. It did not work that way at all. It actually went the opposite way. Over time, the first time I allowed it to happen, it went on throughout the whole school year. It wasn't until I got to high school where I actually started, you know, putting a stop to it. You know, the same bullies who would say things to me in middle school, once I got to high school, they tried it again and I put a stop to it. No, I didn't beat them up. I didn't do anything like that. But, you know, if they clowned me, I clowned them back. And if they did threaten me with violence, I'd just be on the same page with them. I'd just be on the same, on, on the same terms. And you know what? That's called calling the bluff. Because a lot of times, people who disrespect you are cowards. They don't want any problems with you. They just think you're scared. So they try to intimidate you. They try to intimidate you. And, you know, it's, it's not even just limited to bullies. It's also friends and family, you know, people in your circle, even random people. They, they might see you as, as prey, target. And then they'll be like, okay, well, let me try him. You can't be the person that they try, whether you're a man or a female. You know, you can't let people try you. And that's another thing I learned in church because... Jeez. I'm telling y'all, fruit hits different when you're outside. I don't know why, but... <laughs> Another thing my pastor told me was that you can turn the other cheek, but you can't keep it turned for too long. Eventually, you got to fight back. You got to stand up for yourself. Because us humans, we're social, social creatures. Even if it's your mom or dad, you can't allow your mom to disrespect you. If you're a grown man, you know, even if you're not a grown man, you got to stand up for yourself. Unwarranted disrespect is not necessary and it's unacceptable. You know, say for example, you know, you got a, a family member, you had a family reunion and this family member is just throwing shots at you left and right. Now you're going to sit there and take it because a lot of times, another thing is when you're young like me, I'm 20 years old, when you're young like me, older people feel like they could disrespect you and call it keeping it real you know giving you wisdom but you got to be able to see through it and see the difference if they're disrespecting you they're probably calling you out your name you know saying personal things about you you can't allow that you know i've had to do that a couple times myself with family members who disrespected me who would say things about me that was unwarranted and unnecessary and I had to put a stop to it and they never did it again so guys always stand up for yourself you know, don't be afraid to stick out for yourself, man. Don't be afraid to speak up, you know. Guess what? Even if they don't like you, don't worry about being liked by everybody. You're not going to be liked by everybody. Some people are just going to hate your guts for no reason. The only person that, the only thing that matters is that God loves you. And God does love you. You know, case in point. So don't allow disrespect to happen, man. You know, stand up for yourself. Respect yourself and others will respect you. So... Apparently, this is a good place to go trout fishing. Also, another thing that I forgot to tell y'all, man. You know, thank y'all for 50,000 subscribers, man. You know, I hit the milestone maybe a month ago while I was on my break from YouTube. And I was honestly shaking in my boots, man. I was so happy, dog. Like, never did I imagine I'd get 50,000 subscribers. So I'm just extremely grateful, guys. So I will consider this a 50,000 subscriber special. But... There's nothing really special about this video, man. It's just me, you know, taking y'all through my nature walk and just, you know, talking to y'all, man, you know, seeing where y'all head at. But guys, don't forget to let me know how y'all day going in the comments. I genuinely care. I genuinely care. You know, if you're going through anything, DM me on Instagram. You know, we can have a whole full-fledged conversation. I can help you, bro. I love communicating with my supporters, man. Everybody who watches my videos, you know, don't be don't hesitate to dm me even leaving a comment on youtube that works as well emailing me you know if you want any advice i could give it to you just gotta dm me
want to know something. Just coming out here on the mountain and just being in the presence of all this nature and all these beautiful things, the presence of this wildlife, listening to all the birds humming, you know, the water flowing throughout the creek, all of that good stuff, man, just makes me so appreciative for life, man. Just makes me so, so appreciative for life because you got to think about it. Without this, this is the foundation. Without this, we wouldn't have all the buildings and all the luxuries we have now because this is where it comes from. So you just got to come out here and soak it in. So what I recommend everybody does is just, you know, pick a day out the week, maybe a Sunday or a Monday, whatever, whenever you're off, whenever you're not doing anything and just come out here to the mountain and just soak all this in, just bask everything in, especially if you have a family, show them the beauties of life, show them the vegetation, show them everything, man. This is beautiful. It gives you a new perspective on life because it makes you so grateful for life. It makes you take things for granted less. Because just think about it, man. People had to live like this for millions of years before we got to where we are now. The modern life isn't that old. You know, people living in houses and neighborhoods, relatively speaking, it's not that old. It's still pretty young because people lived in places like this. People took advantage of these creeks and these trees and the wildlife out here. People took advantage of those for centuries, millions of years. So you just have to come out here and just bask it all in. Just bask it all in. Bring your family out here. Bring your friends out here. This is a good date idea too. If you got a girl or if you got a guy, bring them out here. Show them that there's more to life than video games. Show them that there's more to life than watching TV. You know, all that, watching movies, show them there's more to life than that. This is what it's all about. This is this has been here before all of that. This has been here since the beginning of time, guys, this mountain, since the beginning of time. So just keep that in mind. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I appreciate y'all for watching. If y'all made it this far, once again, thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. It means the world to me. It's just going to motivate me to keep going. I'm going to try to upload some more things like this too, but let me know if you want to see more you know, nature walking talks like this, man. If you want me to come out here, I just want to come out to different spots in North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, wherever, man. If there's a spot that you want me to travel to and just do a walk and talk and a tour of the area, please just let me know, man. But besides that, it's your boy Sir Lancelot. I'm out of here. Peace.